Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways. Let's continue. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. next time works better for close encounters Leon long time no see Ada so it is true true about what you working with Wesker I see you've been doing your homework why Ada what's it to you why are you here Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! Luis has succeeded in recovering the sample. He's waiting in the castle. Get in contact with him ASAP. Understood. And that U.S. government lapdog, Leon. If you do happen to encounter him, put him out of commission. We can't let him interfere with our plans. He has no idea what's going on. He's nothing we need to worry about. He's a survivor of Raccoon City. We can do without the extra distraction. Take him out. Yes, good old Leon retrieved the sample. Well, that cutscene always makes me laugh as well. It's not until Leon takes his glasses off or Ada takes her glasses off that Leon seems to realize who it is. Welcome. He's a bit of a bit of a dull lad. You do. What exactly do you have? You're welcome. Let's clear out the inventory a little bit, shall we? Uh, now we've got we've got a choice here. We can buy the large case, which we will do, and we can buy that. Now we can get the bow gun. The bow gun is an interesting weapon. It uh, fires explosive bolts. The bolts do the same damage as a grenade. Uh, they have the same range, same characteristics, so it's quite useful also. Uh, it only holds one shot at a time, but there's no magazine that needs to be reloaded, so you can fire it indefinitely as long as you put up with the slow reload speed. This is quite an interesting weapon. Um, we also have the rifle, which, yeah, the rifle's good. It's lots of fun. But we don't really need the rifle. Not yet. We will do. <laughs> we will do for the last chapter, but we don't need it yet. Uh, so, let's... Oh. Alright, let's cancel that. Let's jiggle our junk around. And then... We will... Uh, let's put these up here. For now. So many weapons. Unfortunately, the bow gun does take up a large amount of space, and so does the ammo. But I absolutely think it's worth it. And you do get quite a lot of ammo for it as well. Now, I don't think the ammo is ever dropped by enemies, but it is dropped by. Uh, well, it is just statically placed on the map, which is quite nice. So, let's... Kind of low on TMP ammo, but that's a problem that will fix itself in time. That should be okay now, I think. Hmm...
And I think now because the boat it does take a lot of space. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. Come back any time. And unfortunately, Is that all? we can't cheese this bit like you can with Leon. With Leon, you can actually just leave this place. And it kind of depopulates with enemies. And you can come back here later. But you can't do that in separate ways, sadly. Okay. Right, my dude. I will see you in a minute. Well, we probably won't. Now, what have we got? Uh, let's get the shotgun out. Now, those guys with the scythe, they suck. Oh, yeah. That's also kind of a problem. Can we damage them enough? No. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't damage them enough so they don't spit at you. That's kind of interesting. You can do that as Leon, but apparently not as Ada. Come on, you little gremlin. Unfortunately, it's very hard to get into a situation where these guys don't come out of the corpse. You can do it. I have done it. But it is a challenge. Let's get rid of him because he's just going to be volleying shots at us. And he's kind of a pain in the ass. Alright buddy, I'm coming for you. Uh, let's munch down a health kit. Sure. And luckily we don't have to fight any dogs here. Which is nice. Because those dogs are a major pain in the ass. But we do have to deal with those things. And these things, although they're not as much of a pain in the, in the ass as the dogs are. Oh, he's going the wrong way. You donut. Dude. Seriously. Yeah, these are annoying for their own reasons. Come on. There we go. That was some poor accuracy as well. Yeah, we'll take the handgun bullets. And we'll take the shotgun bullets. Shotgun bullets? Shotgun shells. You know what I meant. Right, that'll do. Okay. So, on to the next. Yeah, all the dogs are gone. Luckily rather happy that the dogs are gone. Uh, if we go too close to that, I think a load of enemies come out, so we'll avoid that for now. Uh, there is a yellow herb around here. But there's also Mr. Happy here. But that's okay. Some liberal swipes of the knife. We'll put him down. Ah, okay. Maybe it's a timing thing. Because they seem to just turn up after a while regardless come on boys I think they're actively going to hunt me down that's fine they can come to me right let's grab that oh god just saw that at the corner of my eye there would have rather this happened on my terms, but whatever, guys. Whatever. Come on, pick, pick it up. Thank you. That's really annoying on the PC version. If you couldn't see what happens there, basically, when you go to pick something up, if the mouse... If the mouse is too far over on the right side of the screen, not that you can see the mouse, um, it will keep switching to no. And if it's over on the left side, 
it will keep switching to yes. Really annoying. There's lots of, like I say, lots of little issues with this. Which is why, in one respect, I can't wait for the remake. But the trouble with the remake is it's absolutely not going to be this game. It's going to be something else. Which, yeah, I'm up for. Definitely looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with it. Hopefully, it's going to be good. I mean, the remakes that we've got so far have been very much a mixed bag. Like the Resident Evil 2 remake was I enjoyable. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the hell out of it. Could have been better, especially in regards to the A and B scenarios, which they really whiffed that. Resident Evil 3 was... Uh, it was fun for a playthrough, and it was fun for all the unlockable content, but the actual game was quite a step back, sadly. Not sure why. Village was a good game. Really enjoyed Village. Resident Evil 7 was a fun game, I thought, but it was an odd <laughs> Resident Evil game. Ah, oh, god damn it. We got a gobber. I hate these things. I hate the way they gob their acid all over you. Are you walking this way? Or do you want me to come get you? Fine, I'll come get you. It's going to be painful for you either way. Come on. There we go gonna leap out boop and then we can shoot him they always seem to leap out once as soon as they come out they do like a little jump oh not dead sometimes they die in one bullet sometimes they don't uh, there is a bit of RNG with the damage in this game I didn't think it there was I thought the you know the damage that weapons deal was you know a guarantee but there's definitely some rng going on sure now let's have a little look i used to know this map off by back of, like my back of my hand but i kind of have forgotten about it forgotten a lot about it over the years I've never, well, I'm not a huge fan of this maze. Do have a tendency to get lost in it. Already got that one. Of course we have. You moron. You absolute bellend. Right, that's the one that we haven't got yet. Stop being so f bloody useless, Sega fan. I just called myself Sega fan. And do you know why I did that? Because I was looking at all of my old artwork. I was having a big old clear out of it all. And I saw all of my old um, logos and things. Right, come on. So Jackal, yes, more TMP ammo. Okay, now you obviously don't have to clear this area out, but it just it seems like such a waste in not to, you know. Again, we've probably missed a couple of like packs of ammo and stuff, but you just don't need it. You really don't. Right. Let's go. Oh, can we not jump through that window? I thought we could. Well, I guess not. Yeah, man. I don't know why there's a perfume bottle hidden there, but there you go. I mean, every little helps, I guess. Now, the merchant isn't in this room. Actually, was the merchant in this room in the OG game? Can't remember. Pretty sure he was. Yeah, he was. Wasn't he? Ah, I got myself questioning myself. 
Come on. There we go. Pick up those bullets. Yeah, I did make an error when I played this uh, on the switch. I did sell all my rifle ammo because I had so much of it. We're not going to be selling our rifle ammo because we're going to be using it. Now, we've got a choice here. We can go all the way around there or we can just cut through this door here. Obviously, it doesn't really matter. But, you know. We're going to go this way. I think you can skip out a large amount of enemies by going through the other door, but who the hell wants to do that? Uh, right. Definitely don't want none of you, sir. Uh-oh. Yep. I think these are the more irritating plaga. Just if I had to if I had to rate them. Just because you've got to knock the body down and then wait for the parasite to come out. And I don't know why it's coming back towards us again. There we go. One, two, there we go. You know it's dead. Oh, I guess they do drop uh, bagger. Or they do drop um, ammo. That's really interesting. I actually didn't think anything dropped bowgun bolts, but I'm glad they do. Now, unfortunately, this is not full of gems like it is in Leon's campaign. Right. Come on. Come on. Should be able to hook shot. Unless you have to activate that first. Yeah, you have to activate that first. Who needs keys? Keys are for pussies. Some good loot in here. Right, what have we got? We've got a nade. Don't mind if I do. We've got a yellow herb, which is also rather nice. Some cash off that guy. Don't forget to get his pockets on the way out. And the main event the hourglass with gold decor. Oh, actually, no, because you, you actually need that. That's not a treasure item. Um, Cool. All right, let's reorganize this chaos that we have going on here. This absolute tomfoolery. Now, organizing your inventory is also much easier with a control pad. And my phone is going off because it's five o'clock again. Right. Five o'clock already. Madness. There we go. Sweet. That'll do. I guess that rifle ammo can uh, stay there. And my notification to remind me to phone my dad has come up again. Game? Hello? Yes. Brilliant. Thanks for that notification. Cool. Let's go. Oh yeah. How odd. How very odd. Okay, let's continue. Hey, sir. No. Oh, I thought there was more of you out there. How strange. There's definitely more of you. I think there's more of you behind that door. Which is fine. Ah, hello. Come on, run towards me. Run towards me. Go on. I dare you. There we go. No running, kids. No running. Oh, come on. Oh, you little bastard. You and your 
tin hat. Never liked the idea of them wearing armor like that. I just find it's more annoying. Bloody tin hat. I mean, honestly, who do these guys think they are? Uh, right. Okay. So that's the way we want to go, but if we go down here, we can find a man. A bad man. But it's okay, because he has money on him. And we like collecting money. Always search their pockets. Come on. There we go. Ooh, that guy. Look at his face. See how tough this guy is. There we go. He's going to pop out a head popper. Uh, we don't have any flash. No, we don't. Alright, let's just shoot him. Lots. There we go. That will work. Come on. Let's see that little parasite of yours. There we go. Happy with that. Get wrecked, my friend. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure there's nothing else down there. Oh. Uh, what have we got going on here? We've got a merchant. Yes, we have got a merchant. And we've got a good amount of loot. At least we've got a good amount of chances for loot. Obviously, I think... I'm pretty sure loot in barrels is RNG. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Now, loot that's placed, like that herb, but it's not in a container. Pretty sure that's that's not RNG. That's static. Go there, buddy. Um, do you have a health kit Welcome. I could purchase? Got a selection of good what are you I'm going to say you do. Is that all? I was going to say you don't, but you do. Very kind of you. That's very kind of you. You're one of the good ones, sir. Nope. Alright, let's slap you in there. What are we doing? We've got seven bogum rounds, which is nice. Possibly going to be needing those soon. <gasps> we have eight bogum rounds. Oof. Ow, you bugger there we go you absolute dick penis man nope nothing oh hey sir you know about running in my hallway sorry but that's the rules you should know the rules you don't know the rules apparently so you're going to pay the ultimate price you have absolved your sins, I see. Hello. Oh, my accuracy is not doing very well right now. That's okay. I wonder if he spent way too much money on all these fancy robes. Probably. You know what he should have spent more money on? Fancy armor for his dudes. Would have, uh been a much better investment I think just because now remember that we picked up that hourglass I'm gonna need that here can cheese this nope <laughs> apparently we can't you actually can cheese that Hello, you. Yeah, you're a big boy. Now let's go stick the hourglass where it needs to be. And then... Ow. Ow. This is a trifle painful.
But that's okay. We're not strangers to a little bit of pain here. And now that gladiator dude is stuck inside. <laughs> nice. Right. See how easy that is when you have weapons? Ah, much better. Now, who's still laughing at me? Oh, you guys. Worth it? I think not. Yep. When you have the necess nes ne 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 necessary firepower to get the job done, everything becomes trivial. Don't you do it. You did it. You... Oh, God. Don't you spit that goop at me. Ooh, where the fuck did you come from? Honestly. Nice. We'll take that. Okay. It takes a lot of... Uh, the reason I use the grenade here is it takes a lot of ammo to destroy these. As you can see, if I sat there and tried to knife that open whilst Mr. Wolverine was in the house, it would have been fairly painful. Alright. Let's go. Leon, I'm sorry, but I can't be seen with you. Yeah, Leon's having a good old time down there. We'll leave him to his fun. Now, we can come in through here. Hey, guys. That's more like it. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. I think we've got a head pop-up. Yep, we got a head pop-up. Yeah, Leon's having a fantastic time out there. Now, unfortunately, we can't go that way. If Leon sees me now, I'd have to finish him off. Now, I don't know if Ada could take Leon out. If anybody could, it would be, uh, you know, it would be her. But they're both pretty badass. Now, if you look through there, there's a lot of stuff. Remember that? But we're not allowed to pick up any of that stuff. And there's our chessboard. Which is a pretty spicy number. I don't think you can actually find anything on this particular chapter that you can combine. I think everything we can find are just single pieces. So... Let's go. Oh, I love the TMP. It's ridiculous amounts of fun to use. It just chews through ammo at such a scary pace. Now... Our merchant friend isn't here yet, but he has left us a little present. Now, here we are. Remember this room. I remember this room. We can sit there and enjoy... Oh, we can't sit there and enjoy that. Sadly. It won't budge. It must be locked from the other side. Damn it. We couldn't quite get to those pots. Such a wet, juicy thud. Lewis. Now that I have 
the sample. You serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Hmm. <laughs> Stay with me, Lois. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. Have you found out what I was up to? <laughs> Don't talk. <laughs> Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lois! Lois! Well, at least he's at peace now. You know, there's that. I found Luis. Unfortunately, a bit too late. Did you retrieve the sample? No. Sadler has it. Hmm. There will be another time. Have you had a chance to eliminate Leon? Not yet. If that's the case, then maybe we can capitalize on his little lucky streak. Take advantage of the distraction he is causing for Sadler and his followers to retrieve the sample. God, I love Wesker. So fucking cool. Yeah, actually failed there a little bit, mainly I think because of the TMP, but anyway. Jack Krause has been the subject of extensive study and research by the organization. His skills and personality have been tested both on and off the battlefield. If he weren't the best, he would become a liability that would jeopardize the rest of us. My conclusion, he's a great soldier. No more, no less. As long as he's well compensated, he shouldn't cause any problems for us. If he does start to get restless, I can take care of him. I've studied his combat style and can deal with that arm of his if necessary. Krauser answers directly to Wesker, and it was Wesker who decided that Krauser should be sent to spy on the cult. He also decided to send me along. I wonder if it wasn't to keep an eye on Krauser. No doubt Krauser has already fallen to the temptation of those plotters and the power they represent. This could have dire consequences for the organization. On some level, however, this may be a necessary development, as his role is to disrupt this farce of a play. <laughs> that said, the stage and its players will ultimately come crashing down in the end. Bad luck for him. But he'll play the patsy in the end and take the fall for all of us. That's why I need to make sure things keep going exactly as they are. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we know Jack Krauser is just an expendable urchin. But anyway, guys, that's chapter three done so when we come back on to chapter 4 chapter 4 is quite good I enjoyed chapter 4 that chapter wasn't too bad either it's much shorter than the second one which is so it just it's drastically shorter it's really strange but uh, yeah these they're so inconsistent in their length but anyway thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time